Okay, we get a lot of emails about how to do masking the proper way, tips and tricks and all that, and I thought I'd show you some stuff using a bunch of our 3M products today. I got the Soft Edge Masking Tape Plus that they just came out with, the original Soft Edge Masking Foam, a box of smooth transition tape, some 3M masking tape, green masking tape, and a tack cloth and a razor blade. Just some of the basics we're going to need in our masking machine. Can't forget that. First I have to start off with the tack cloth and just come around and tack the jams just to help get any of the dust and stuff out. Back in here. Okay, first thing we want to do start off, we're going to start masking like this jam here for paint. Set it kind of down low, back off, because you don't want a nice, you don't want a hard line. That's why we have all this special stuff here. Now this was the, the original 3M masking foam here. It's this nice foam, it's got a sticky edge on one side and it leaves a nice transition. It's just you got to be real careful how you place it to get that sticky edge down so it doesn't leave a hard line on you. It helps seal up, let any paint go through and leaves you a nice soft edge. Well, 3M improved the product with their new 3M Masking Plus. They've made it wider and flatter and moved their tape down to the edge so you don't... Here you can see how you can still kind of get a sticky edge right there. It'll make kind of a hard line on you. Where their new stuff comes in. lays a little flatter and gives it more room for the paint to blow down to leave a nice softer edge, which is a lot easier to clean up later on. Then on this side here, I like to come back about an eighth inch off the edge and just run a hard line on the back side of this because the paint as it comes around here will come around and it'll make its own nice little soft edge because it can't get to it directly. the paper back. Makes a nice clean line. There's a third option which is nice if you're going to be sealing the car because you can run two rows of the 3M smooth transition tape. It's this nice little flat piece and it's got the clear on or the, the adhesive on it in the center and it leaves these little edges. You can put one layer Turn it right down here a little bit lower. And this one would be for your base coat and your clear coat layer. Then you can run a second layer of this right on top of it. Up a little bit higher. And leave you a little tab so you can get to it. Get that pressed down. But after you spray your sealer layer, you can come back and grab this one and carefully just peel that layer there so your sealer edge will stop and when you spray your base coat, your base coat will go over the top of it so you won't have that wider gray edge inside your jam.